Hi, this is a second video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. So in this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX to solve this kind of quadratic equation questions. So in this question, the question actually asks you to express the fx 2x squared minus 10x minus 18 in the form of the fx equals to a bracket x plus p power of 2 plus q. So when you see this uh, equation over here you should know this is related to the completing the square because yeah this is a complete square form and then after that the question also asks you to hang to sketch the graph for fx so at the domains between uh, negative 2 to 8 so in this question we kind of need to do two things first we need to uh, do the complete the square for this quadratic equation after that we need to sketch the graph for, for it all right so over here i will teach you how to quickly get this equation by using the calculator but of course in the exam you still need to show the workings like how how you get this equation all right so if you use the calculator it's quite easy you just go to the menu and then you go down two times because you need to uh, look for the equation so then you can see equation and function then i will press enter and then i will choose the polynomial which is two and then I will choose the power because this is x squared, so the power will be 2 as well. Then I will insert my equation 2, negative 10, negative 18. So after that, what I will doing here is the question, uh, the calculator will actually tell you the first x intercept and second x intercept over here or the a solution of x. But what we want is we want to find a minimum of x and and the minimum of y. So what you can do over here is, if you get the minimum of x, you just need to insert it as the p position. But you must uh, be careful when you do the insert is, this one is positive for x value only, right? This is positive 5 over 2. When you insert, you need to change it to negative 5 over 2. And then square but then you realize you have an a over here isn't it so the a actually is quite easy it's a coefficient of uh x power of 2 here which is the 2 so you just copy the 2 here and then press the equal again so this minimum value of y you can just copy without changing any sign like the x just now so this one you just copy it which is negative 61 over 2. all right so my fx equation basically is like this so you can see i can get the equation is just like less than one minute just by using the casio calculator but of course in this video i will just like teach you uh how to get this equation as well so you need to do complete square so when, when we do the complete square right so what we're doing the first step is we will always factorize out the uh, coefficient of x square so let's say i factorize out the two here so i get x square minus 5x minus 18. I factorize out the 2 for the first two terms. Then what I'm doing next is I will just um, copy the first term, copy the second term, just copy them, and then I will plus something bracket square minus back the something bracket square, close the bracket, copy the negative 18 from the top here. So the something here basically is b divided by 2. My b here is negative 5, right? So it's negative 5 over 2. Negative 5 over 2. Then the next thing I will do is I will group the first three term here into the bracket square. So when I group the first three term into the bracket square, the, the law basically is quite simple. You just take the first and third, uh, which is within this three term, only first and third has the square over here, isn't it? Do you see the power two here for only first term and last term, isn't it? So therefore, take the first term without a square, take the last term without a square. And then this one, you just do negative 25 over 4, minus 80. Then the next thing I will do is multiply 2 into the both. The first one, you just leave the 2 outside the bracket. The second one, when I multiply the 2 for a negative 25 over 4, I get negative 25 over 2, and then minus 80. Then, of course, you would need to solve the minus 18 thing. So you can use the calculator to quickly solve. So in order you uh change this casual calculator back into cal calculation so you just need to tap menu and one all right then i can tap negative 25 over 2 
and then next and then minus 18 the calculator will tell me is negative 61 over 2 so it's exactly same equation I get at the very beginning isn't it so this equation I can quickly get by just using the calculator but you need to like remember some step is the first thing the x value you need to change sign the y value you can just copy from the calculator and then the a value here is always the coefficient of the x squared if let's say the coefficient of x squared over here is power uh, is, is 3 here you just write a 3 over here all right so yeah this is how you solve the part one all right for the part two you need to sketch the graph so in order to sketch the graph right so okay let's just let me quickly erase all this thing okay so if i want to sketch the graph uh, of course i need to pay attention at the domain because i need to use the domain to find my range here uh, to find the range the domain is given from negative 2 to 8 so therefore I can use the negative 2 and 8 to find my range over here but over here I kind of need my completed square equation because I'm I kind of need to use it to find find my graph here so which is the fx equals to 2 x minus 5 over 2 square minus 61 over 2 so how to find the uh, range from domain is normally this is my x value uh, fx normally I would call it as a y here so I want to know what is my negative 2 and then I always need the y in the set which is when x equals to 0 so I add the 0 by myself and then last thing I add the a over here so I have negative 2 0 and a so what I want to do next is I will insert the negative 2 into my equation here and then I insert the 0 I insert the a to find my y value y basically is my fx all right so it's quite simple so i just insert like two bracket negative two square minus 10 bracket negative two and then minus 18. so the first value i get is 10 and then i do the same thing for the second one but the second one is quite simple right you just sub the zero into both x you should get negative 18 quickly and then the last one will be eight here so the a basically I will not like retype the whole, everything I will just go back and change the negative 2 into a here change the negative 2 into a and then I press enter I get 30 so over here I already have uh, three different coordinates later I'll explain how to use these three different coordinates here okay so what we will do next will be uh, we want to sketch a graph so when you sketch a graph you should know uh, just now the calculator already tell us uh, we will get our minimum point isn't it so a minimum point here is basically 5 over 2 and negative 61 over 2 just in case you have no idea about fraction it's kind of about 2.5 and negative 30.5 so yeah, so this one will be the x coordinate and y coordinate. So when I want to draw my x axis and y axis, I will just like pay more attention over here. So that means I should have something like this. Uh, this is let's say this is negative two point five. Then negative two will be somewhere here. So yep. So when negative two, it actually it will at ten here. The y value will at about ten, and then it pass by at value like this so I will just like draw a U shape first all right so from the U shape over here this one definitely is my minimum X and minimum Y my minimum Y is negative 30.5 and then my X intercept which is this coordinate which is 0 and negative 18 all right so over here um, you should have a negative 2 here so negative 2 basically will give me 10 and then you still have an A here, so I will just make it slightly longer. So let's say this is an A here, so you should get about 30. So you will need to make your Y exit slightly longer here. So it will be 30. So this one will be your perfect graph over here. So just now, when we go into the polynomial equation, we go into the polynomial 2 here. So when we insert the equation, right, the calculator actually tells us about our x-intercept. So if you want to insert the x-intercept, you can do that as well. So your x-intercept, the first one, is 6.41. So you can say 
this coordinate will be x intercept right because this is x exit and y exit so this one will be 6.41 so you can see 6.41 is between the uh, this is positive 2.8 uh, 2.5 sorry this is positive 2.5 and then the next value will be negative will be negative 1.41 so like this you can actually get a very perfect graph here so which have the x intercept and y intercept and then the range is from negative 2 to 8 all right just in case uh if you want to use the calculator to see the graph you can always do that by doing the shift and then qr so when you tap the shift and qr button like this you just need to use your smart smartphone or smart any smart device to scan this qr code yeah then you can go into the casual website and then over the casual website it definitely will show you the exactly graph over there but then of course in the exam you can't bring in your smartphone to scan it but when you do the exercise uh, this is very good features for you to double check whether the graph you sketch is it correct or not so if you are interested to buy this calculator i will share the lazada link at my description below the link will bring you to the casual flagship store because right now uh, the Casio Malaysia are doing the promotion. Whoever buy this calculator from them, they will actually free you a Casio L file. Uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper in the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another 5 ringgit discount for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.